Well, the Ebola outbreaks in Nigeria and Senegal were recently, recently declared over, but transmission of the disease remains widespread in Guinea, Liberia and Sierra Leone. Health experts from countries that have successfully dealt with past Ebola outbreaks tell VOA's Mariama Diallo that the leaders of those currently affected nations must switch their focus in order to start seeing some positive changes. Senegal and Nigeria have now been declared free of Ebola. And Nigeria's efforts drew praise this week as the country's foreign minister, Aminu Bashir Wali, met with his German counterpart, Frank Walter Steinmeier. In this neighborhood, it's an accomplishment in this neighborhood, and thanks to the Nigerian health system and political awareness that Nigeria ensured it did not contribute to the spread of the virus. But Guinea, Liberia and Sierra Leone are not as fortunate, according to Lynn Black, a physician and the board chair of an aid organization called Last Mile Health. Black recently returned from Liberia and told a Washington panel discussion the situation is frightening. We have to reach the religious leaders, the village leaders, so that they will then trust us and help us break the chain of the Ebola spread. Because people are starting to hide now because you go into an Ebola treatment unit. The community doesn't know what happens to people who go in there. Other countries have grappled successfully with Ebola in the past, among them Uganda, which has had at least five outbreaks since the year 2000, most recently in 2012. Dr. Francis Omazwa is the executive director at the African Center for Global Health and Social Transformation and is from Uganda. He says there is much to be learned from the way his country has handled Ebola. You need to win the trust of the population. Lesson number two, controlling the epidemic will be done by the communities themselves, being able to identify those who are suspected to have the disease and to refer them to centers for tests, isolation and treatment. Another Ugandan doctor, Margaret Mungerera, is president of World Medical Association. She says while the international community has done a lot to help, the African leaders need to be the face of the epidemic. And decisions are being made outside the countries concerned and, and they're being, you know, it's not, they're not allowing time for, uh, not allowing them to be the ones to take, take the, make the decisions that need to be done. So in terms of building leadership or developing the leadership, um, strengthening the leadership, there's a lot more that needs to be done. And Dr. Omasawa adds that strong leadership is a must. The governance arrangement should be able to reach all the households, should be able to link the villages and the higher levels of the health system and the government. And that is what is missing in many of the countries. Despite the current Ebola crisis, Omazwa says there is some good news, pointing out in a new book that more than a dozen African countries have made recent strides in their health care systems. In Washington, Mariama Jalou, VOA News.